All right then gang, so now hopefully you've got a feel for the basics of creating a next application. How to make pages and routes, how to link between them, how to use styles, how to create a layout component, and now also how to use static assets. The next step for us is to make the website a bit more dynamic and to bring data into the mix. For example, it would be nice to fetch some data from an API endpoint, which we can then show in one of our page components. In our case, that's gonna be some Ninja data. Now, normally this data would come from a ready-made API endpoint that we might create, or directly from a database like Firebase. I want to keep it simple and I'm going to be using JSON placeholder. Now JSON placeholder gives us some dummy API endpoints to fetch data from, really good for testing. And we can choose different resources. So there's posts, comments, albums, photos, to-dos and users. And this is how many items we get back from each endpoint. We're going to use this one right here, forward slash users. So watch, if I click on this right here, this is the endpoint and we can see this is the JSON data we get back. So loads of different objects where each one is a user. It represents a user. In our case, it's going to represent a ninja. Now, ideally, we don't want to just request this in the browser in the address bar. We want to request this data from our code instead. So how do we do that? Well, in normal React applications, we might do this from a hook like use effect, and that would make the request in the browser. But in our case, we don't want to do that because remember, the components are all pre-rendered by the time they reach the browser. So ideally, we want to fetch the data before they're rendered so that rendered components have data in the template. And to do this, we can use a special function provided to us by Next. So I'm going to show you that now. First of all, where are we going to fetch the data? Well, we're going to do it inside this ninjas index component right here. So when we go to forward slash ninjas, this is where we're going to fetch the data from and show the data. So the special function that we need to create provided to us by next goes up here. And this function is called get static props. And we need to export this. So I'm going to say export and then const get static props like so. And that is equal to a function and inside the function is where we fetch the data and this is an async function let's spell const correctly like so so this function right here runs at build time as our app is built and our components rendered at this point we can add a fetch request inside it to fetch any data we need for our component template now, this function never runs in the browser, only at build time. So don't write any code here that you expect to run in the browser. Let's now create a fetch request inside this function. So I'm going to say const response is equal to await. And we can use await because this is an asynchronous function. And then we're going to use a fetch request. The end point is going to be this thing right here to fetch the users. So let's copy that and place it inside here. So that's the fetch request. That returns a response object. Now, to get the data from that, we have to use the JSON method to pass that JSON into something we can work with. So we'll say const data is equal to await because this is also asynchronous, this method, this JSON method. And now this is going to be an array of objects like this thing right here. Okay. So we have that data, but then how do we actually use it inside the component? Well, we return a value from this function and this return is going to be an object and inside that we have a props property and we give this a value now this value is going to be an object and inside here we can pass in different properties and values that we want to make accessible inside our component as a prop so in our case i'm going to create one called ninjas you can call it what you want i'm calling it ninjas and I'm setting that equal to data, which is this array of users. So now what happens is this data is now available to us inside this component and it's attached to the props that we take in right here. So I could just destructure from that the ninjas property. And that is all of this data. So remember, this runs before the component is rendered, fetches the data, it waits for that data. Once we have it, it pumps it into the component so that it can be rendered with that data inside it. Okay, so now what we need to do is map through those ninjas and output them in the template, which is what I'm going to do. So curly braces, because we're using dynamic JavaScript right here. So ninjas.map to map through them. 
and then we take in each individual ninja as we cycle through those and fire a function for each one whereby we return some kind of template so let's get rid of the curly braces right here and instead return parentheses because we're just returning template inside these parentheses and the first thing we'll do is a div and the root element inside this needs to have a key this is all standard react stuff so if you don't understand any of this then definitely check out my react series first of all now each ninja right here has an id property on it we can see this thing right here so that is going to be the key so ninja dot id and then inside that all i'm going to do is output an anchor tag without an href we'll add in the link later but this anchor tag is going to have a class name so we can style it later on and in fact we'll leave that off because we've not made the styles for it and we'll do that shortly but what i'm going to do is output an h3 inside this that outputs the ninja dot name property and again that name property is on the data right here so we're just listing the ninja names here that's all we're doing so hopefully now if i save this then okay we get an error and this says cannot read property map of undefined so let's see what's going on over here okay that all looks okay so i'm just going to refresh over here to make sure that we just needed to refresh that's fine now okay we just needed to refresh all right then so that looks like it's all working cool so that's how we fetch data we use this function right here get static props it's an asynchronous function we can fetch data inside it we return an object with a props property and that is an object where we can attach different properties for data we want to pump in to our component pretty simple okay so let me finally just add in a few styles to this ninjas css module so i'm just going to paste these in like so and what i'm going to do is apply this class single to this thing right here this anchor tag so let's say class name is equal to something and first of all we need to import those styles so let's do that i'm going to say import styles from and then we need to come up to layers and then into the styles folder and then we want the ninjas dot module dot css file okay so now down here we can apply styles dot single like so and all that class does is give each one a bit of padding a background of white display blocks margin and a border left and then when you hover over it that border left turns blue so if i save this and preview that looks a lot nicer okay so next up we're going to look at dynamic routes to make ninja details pages when we click on these things right here